Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tori. In this video, I'm going to be doing just a little bit of cleaning, but mostly decorating. As you know, um, if you're one of my subscribers, then you know that we've lived in this house for a little over two years and I've went through some changes in this house, but I feel like I have finally gotten to where I am just in love with my furniture and my decor. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. We have gotten new furniture new decor and i am so excited for you guys to see it and i hope you enjoy this video if you're not already subscribed i hope you'll click that subscribe button before you leave today and also give me a thumbs up this really helps boost my channel and i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoy watching you just gotta trust the right you don't have to be scary the table and the hutch because I want to wipe them down really good and then we're gonna decorate them both together um, you can see how nasty the table is it really needs to be wiped down and you can't really see but the hutch is very dusty so I'm gonna clean these really quick and then we're gonna decorate
dishwasher, but um, this is all the stuff that I have put together that I'm gonna be using to decorate the dining table and the hutch, which is clean now. And the only new things that nobody has seen yet, I got this from the same consignment shop that I get all my dough bowls and like fancy cutting boards. It was $20, but then I did have a discount. So it ended up being like $18, which I thought was a really good price. I got another one of these. I have one on my coffee bar um, that's the same, but this one's a little bit different. Like, I guess I could show them side by side, but this one's a little bit different. It doesn't hold quite as much, but I thought it would be cute to decorate with. Definitely love it. It was $12 and I had my discount. So it was like, I don't know, $10, something like that. And then y'all seen that one. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, the eucalyptus, I've got another one of these wreaths. It's like the wreath up there. So I got another one of these wreaths. Y'all seen all, have y'all seen this? I think y'all seen this. This is a cake stand. I'm still looking for a lid. Um, I think that's all the new stuff. I think. Um, that little grinder thing, I used to use it for Ginger's medicine, but she's not taking medicine for her mouth anymore because she got surgery and she's feeling better. So I'm just going to use it to decorate. Um, and then I have these cutting boards. And yeah, so we're going to decorate. I think I'm going to talk through it a little bit, but we'll see. Um, I may not talk through the whole thing, but we'll see. Sorry about the dishwasher if y'all hear that. But yeah, I'm excited. I've got some really cute stuff to use and I'm super excited. I dumped the pods out real quick to show you. Um, these are like the same, like they were the same price. Well, actually this one was, they were both $12, but I got this one cause I had like a, you get a punch card when you like buy so much stuff there. So I had a punch card. So I got 40% off. So I was like, I don't know, $7, something like that. But uh, originally 12. And then this one, I had a discount that um, I think was like, it ended up being like $10, I think. But I wanted to kind of show like the size difference. They're the same, but different. Like they're the same item at her shop, but this one is definitely like, a little bit taller and it holds more i like this one because it's a little bit more shallow and like i want to use it to like decorate the hutch or decorate the table we'll see um but i really love like the flat edges on it but i wanted to show like the difference so this one is the one from the coffee bar and this is the one i'm going to use to decorate on the hutch or the dining table so i've got it nice and cleaned off and i wanted to mention like i found um some brass hardware that's kind of like a little bit vintage looking at Hobby Lobby that I think I'm gonna get for the hutch, but it wasn't on sale when I saw it. So I'm gonna, whenever it's on sale, I'm gonna grab that, I think. And it's like brass, but it's like little knobs, so I wanna change these out. But I'm gonna start with the cutting boards because I already know where those are gonna go. So I'm gonna start with those. So I have these three, and I am just gonna place them where I had them originally because I really like the way they were. pieces sprinkled in and also some things I've rearranged definitely but I think for the most part I loved the way I had it so I'm going to put it most of the way back the way it was I just really needed to wipe these shelves because they were super dusty so definitely one difference is that this is going to the top shelf I did have this I think somewhere else I think I had it on the bottom so I'm gonna put this one on the top And then I've got my brass candle holders. This one is from TJ Maxx and this one was thrifted. So I put the tall one on this side because we have the shorter bases. And then I put the short one on this side to give that, see like it just adds balance because you've got like the tall base with the short candlestick and the shorter bases with the taller candlestick. I feel like that just adds like a lot of balance. And I feel like one thing I used to always do is I would buy like two of something and try to decorate like super symmetrical. Like I would buy two of these and probably two, well I wouldn't have been able to find two of these, but, um, but I would have bought like two of the same thing and like, you know, decorate very symmetrical to like make it look really nice and balanced. But now I just try to find things that are alike, like, well this is a jug, but you know what I mean, like vases and jugs, they kind of got that round shape to them. And then we've got the brass candle holders, I feel like those look really balanced like that. I put my long double back in the center where it was. This is another one I got from my friend's shop. Um, she sells lots of stuff like this. Like I got that big double from her and all these smaller ones from her. I love her shop. This is one of my new pieces and I think I'm gonna try to put it here in this corner. It 
it's, it's kind of too tall, but it like it kind of sits there. It's not like up against anything, but it's a little too tall. But I really wanted it on the middle shelf because I wanted it to be up higher. Um, if it's on the bottom shelf, it tends to be a little bit more hidden away. So um, I want to try it on that. And then I feel like um, I have an idea for the bottom shelf that I want to try. So yeah. And then we're gonna add this other Hobby Lobby. Um, what is this supposed to be? I guess it, it was in the like floral section, so I guess it's like a vase. But to me, I told Lewis it reminds me because it, it looks like the jug. And it reminds me of like one of those milk, those milk carton things, like a glass milk jug or milk bottles. So that's what it reminds me of. And I want the real rustic side showing. And I'm gonna add my little thrifted painting. I got this in a local thrift store for ten dollars. I love that pop of green, so I'm just gonna add this back where I have it. So my idea for the bottom shelf is I have this from TJ Maxx, it was $12.99. I had this to put my soaps on in the kitchen, but um, Violet knocked my like soap dispenser down and broke it because it was on top of this thing, and I, I felt like it was because it was up so high. She like was jumping down from the, they love to get up on the window, but she was jumping down from the window and knocked it over, so I don't put it on this thing anymore. I needed to find something to use this for because it's beautiful. And I was thinking that I want to try to incorporate it here on the hutch. So I was thinking because there's a stand here and I can use my cake stand on the other side to add a lot of balance here on the bottom shelf. So I think that looks good. So I'm going to add these books pretty much the same place I have them. Got my Hobby Lobby canisters. I'm gonna put back up on the middle shelf. Got my little spoons. They're like little um, teaspoons that I'm gonna put back up here. I really love that pop of like gold right there. I wanna add the strainer back where I have it. And I used to have the little salt and pepper shakers here, but I think I'm gonna add this here. And the salt and pepper shakers on this set up here on that marble stand. And I'm gonna pop this bird here just to add a little bit more to that. And I have this one up here, so I think I'm just going to place that back where it was. And I have one more thing. So I have a couple of these wreaths, and they're from Target. And I was thinking, because I just love the way that eucalyptus looks, and then it's got the gold on it. So I think that this is going to be kind of like my everyday hutch look, like whenever I don't have any seasonal decor up. Or just like my summertime, like if I add in the lemons, I'll probably just have like this kind of vibe going on, and I'll just add in like the sprinkle of lemons. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. Um, let me stand back and look at it. I need to plug it. It's unplugged, so I don't have the light on, but I need to plug it back up. But I wanted to talk about it for a second. The reason that I did the, <laughs> the things that I did. Um, so if you notice that, okay, so the top, we've kind of got like a little bit heavy in here in the middle. And then we've got like some not so heavy items on, on the side. So I wanna do, since I have not so heavy here and kind of heavy here, I wanted to do like something light here and light. And by light, I mean just like there's one item, it's not like a ton of stuff going on. Like this is a little bit more heavy and this right here. So it kind of, it goes like heavy, 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 and then light, 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 if that makes sense. Like by heavy and light, I mean just the amount of items I have placed. Like to me, this looks heavy. Like I would call that heavy, like it's heavily decorated. And then this is light. And then this is a little more heavy, light, because we've only got two items. Anyways, I know that's only two items, but it looks like a little more heavy because the like size of the items. I hope that makes sense, but um, I really love the way it turned out. I honestly think this is like the best, I know I say that every time, but this truly is the best 
punch look that I have ever done. And honestly, like, it'll be so easy. I, you know, I want to get a lid for this, but whenever, like, let's say fall, I can bake a cake and put it on here. I can add, like, some pumpkins. I can, you know, this part's probably fine. If I find any, actually, these look cute for fall, these salt and pepper shakers. But I can pop a little fall floral in here. I can add some more pumpkins, switch out the art for something fall. This is probably fine. Add some florals. Um, I can put a fall wreath. Um, maybe switch the birds out for something. I can switch these brass birds out for something a little more fall. But definitely, I love it. It's my favorite. Definitely my favorite that I've ever done. So let me know what y'all think about it. I really love it. Like, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> This is what I have left for the table, and this is kind of what I figured that I was gonna be using on the table. So I'm gonna decorate this really quick, and I'll explain um, what I'm planning on doing like per holiday. <laughs> This is so cute. I actually had this on my coffee table previously and I had a smaller gold tray here that I found at TJ Maxx. I think I've showed it to y'all, but you'll see it a little bit later in this video because I'm gonna use it on the coffee table. So I decided to switch those because the bigger one, like whenever I had set, like I was, you know, trying to try stuff out and I had set the vase and the little salt and pepper and I set this and it was all just cramped together kind of like that and I was like let me just switch these and it worked so much better and honestly this tray was a little too big for our coffee table you know whenever you're like setting your food down or your drink down at the coffee table it was a little bit you'll see you'll see the other one looks so much better but how cute is this and again going back to like me wanting to just be able to make little swaps and just have like cute everyday decor that I'm in love with like I guess that I really just love like I love the dark furniture, like the dark coffee table, and I've got a dark, um, I'm sorry, a dark dining table, I've got a dark coffee table, I've got a dark entryway table. I love the gold tray, and I actually, this little, like, holder for these, these were from Target, and they were just, like, on their own. So this little holder is actually from that salt and pepper <laughs> shaker set, but honestly, you can't, like, tell that it's not there, and then I know that like it's tall here and short here, but whenever I have a cake or a lid on there, it'll look better. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought that it would be so cute. Like for example, fall, I can just put some little pumpkins or whatever in this dough bowl and change out my florals. It'd be super easy and super cute and I love it. I really love wood tones. I love marble, I love gold, I love distressed vases and yeah. So I actually just stole these limes from the um, kitchen dough bowl because I thought they'd be cute here to kind of show like what I'm planning. Like I could put pumpkins in it or whatever. I really like the limes there. Um, my husband eats limes like they're going out of style so we always have limes. <laughs> but for like year round, I'll probably just keep the limes in it. But everything is turning out so cute. I really love it. Sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body Body two, yeah, body two. So this is our new fireplace and I'm glad I already had this vase that I had bought for the hutch because I needed like a short vase because it's like the TV's like right there. Um, if we hang the TV any higher, it will look way too high. But I'm really glad I already had this little short black vase and I had these short black candle holders also from like the hutch look that I did. So I was able to just use these to decorate the mantle and it was already super dusty so I wiped it down and I'm gonna add a little bit more but I love the way this looks and I can change out the florals for each season I think that would be so cute add like a garland um, but I'm gonna add a little bit more decor so I found these picture frames at TJ Maxx and I added some little Disney pictures so this one is just us with Mickey and Minnie couple months ago and this is an older one um this is when the girls are like four years old i think but we were at magic kingdom and this is still like the only castle picture we have where we're all like looking and smiling it's my favorite so i wanted to incorporate i know a lot of people like like to add like etsy art prints to their pretty cool frames but it just makes me happy to look at these pictures from disney so i decided to just add some family pictures and i want to incorporate this one over here somehow See if maybe that looks good. I wanted to kind of, this is like the bigger frame, so I want to kind of like layer in the candle holders. 
but I don't know if I want to cover up the picture, but I don't want to cover up the candle holder. I don't know, I like it like this, so we'll see. I'm gonna stay back and look at it and see if I like it. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe. Let's get this one over. Just a couple more things I want to add over here. I got this little candle holder at the thrift store. It was two dollars, and I thought this would be really cute to just pop right here, just to kind of decorate in threes because it always makes it look more symmetrical. And I got this tray that I got on Amazon, and it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it actually is perfect for right here. To like, this is the remote to the fireplace, and then we also have like the TV remote, but the girls have it in their room. But it's perfect for like just little like you know, like the remote, like little things. So it's kind of perfect right here. So I'm actually glad about the size because I feel like if it was any bigger, it would look way too big. But I like the balance of like black on the outside. Well, this is gray technically, but it looks kind of black. And then we've got gold and gold and more gold. So I really like it. So here's a better view of what it looks like all decorated. I think it looks so cute. I think it looks really balanced. I love this fireplace. It's really cozy. It matches our kitchen really well with the like kind of crown molding look to it. And I just love these, like, I don't know this, it was just perfect. Cause I haven't really bought anything for this video. It's just using stuff that I already had, but that base is like shorter. I needed something shorter cause the flower sticking up won't really bother us. But then like, if it was any taller, it would be way too tall. But I think these are perfect. And I love our little family pictures with our Disney, our little Mickey and Minnie and our little castle picture. So cute. This is what I have to deal with. This is what I have to deal with. You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me if I bet you, Valen? Are you gonna bite me? Oh, you're being so sweet. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. <laughs> you're such a crazy girl. You're crazy. Don't bite. There she goes, biting. Uh, Ginger's growling. <laughs> So this will be really easy to dress up for the holidays too. I think I want to add like one more thing to the middle. So I have this bowl that I've had for a little while. So I think I'm going to pop this here on the middle. This will also be really great to dress up for the holidays. And I have these beads. I don't actually think I've used these yet, but I got them at Hobby Lobby and I've been wanting to use them. I just haven't really found anything to use them for yet. But I think they'll be really cute to like somehow kind of just have them like casually hanging out the bowl I think I like that but this will be really easy to dress up for the holidays because I can just add like the candles like for fall I can do orange candles I can take the beads out and put pumpkins and I can change it off for like some fall florals um 
but just very simple, neutral. I love it. I love this like color scheme that I got going on. Yeah, I definitely love that. I think it's matching the whole vibe we've got going on here. I think it looks pretty. Just ignore like where the girls, like there's little spots on the back of, <laughs> on the baseboard where the girls had that, they had a Cinderella car like a year or two ago and they like were riding it around inside. I know it sounds crazy, but they messed up the floor right there and the wall. But we had the entryway table in the entryway, but I moved it here because I like it better here. And we put that big mirror in our bedroom. So I really like the way this is looking. So here is our new couch and our new rug. I mean, it's new. But we've, we've had it, we've had the rug for a little over three months, but the couch we got like three months ago. We got the rug first, then got the couch. Um, but I did just vacuum it and spot clean it off camera because I knew it was going to take a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys, I need to wipe the table, so just ignore it. But this is what I used to spot clean the couch. Um, this is the Thomasville sectional from Costco. And... Um, just ignore like the two matchy match pillows. That's all I have. So that's what I got stuck over there. Um, anywho, I personally, I love this couch. I love it. But if you have pets or kids or a husband, I would not recommend getting a white couch because this thing is like, yes, it looks beautiful and it's very comfortable. It's, it's beautiful and comfortable, but, um, it gets very dirty very easily. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna show some up closes. Um, like, I didn't really, really get into the cleaning, but you can see where I tried to get this little orange stain out. And we don't let the girls have food on the couch, but that doesn't mean they don't do it behind our backs. Um, and then, like, you can tell where they sit a lot. It's starting to peel. And yeah, so I love it. It was um, not super expensive, for, in my opinion, because of the, like, the quality is really good. But, like, just with pets and kids <laughs> I'll be honest with you it was not the best choice I, I knew this was gonna happen but also I really wanted a white couch so I kind of didn't care and I ignored those feelings but so that's on me but I definitely love it if you have the Costco Thomasville sectional let me know have you ever put the cushion covers in the washing machine and how did that turn out should I not do that should I try it because all the cushion covers are removable the bottom and the top and so we actually have another ottoman as well so if this one gets too bad we can switch it out um so yeah i'm gonna clean the coffee table and then i'm gonna vacuum and then we will decorate the coffee table and then we'll be done <laughs> don't know how to cope with being so broken girl i can't forget about what we said i just want to love you a little bit more don't just walk away from me and close the door baby pull me closer now before it's over i just want to love you Forget about what you said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, So we're just gonna decorate this together real quick. So this is that smaller girl tray I was talking about. I originally had bought this for the dining table, but it looks so much better on the coffee table because honestly, that one you saw earlier on the dining table was just too big for the coffee table. Um, and it was kind of hard, like whenever you, we're that family that sits down, <laughs> eats our plate of food, like I know that's probably bad and some people are probably gonna judge me for that, but um, we use our dining table too, but we'll occasionally, we'll just sit around the coffee table. And yeah, so <laughs> that made it kind of hard, but I like this smaller tray because it's better for like us to, you know, I can stick like functional decor on it. And also like we have the Xbox game controllers we can stick in it, the remotes that we can stick in it, it's very functional. So I'm gonna go grab some decor. So first I have these marble coasters that I've had for a while. So I'm just gonna stick those on here. Those are very useful. I've got this Bath & Body Works candle holder. It's like marble and gold. And I've got this lemon pound cake candle that I'm gonna light in just a minute. 
So next I just have this little plant. I actually thrifted this at Goodwill. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think it was like $1.99. So I am going to pop that on. And I've also, I think I've showed y'all these in a like shopping video, um, but I've got this candle trimmer and snuffer. They're, I got them at an antique shop and it was, they were a little pricey. I mean, I love them, but like for like a vintage piece, like I feel like if you found these at the thrift store, they would have been so much cheaper, but still I felt like 35 for the set wasn't terrible. I mean, I wanted them bad enough that I got them. So I'm going to stick those on there. I think they'll look really cute. And so they're functional, but they're also decorative. So I'm just going to stick them somewhere. Something feels off. Um, I think the candle is like too tall. So maybe if I just swap the plant, <laughs> I know that's like for candles, but I think that's cute. Um, also I kind of like want candle facing outwards. So candle, coasters. The coasters are very functional because we've used the crap out of them coasters. So we'll have a candle here and then I'll just take these like down the side. And then like for like non-decorative, like not aesthetic everyday use, we can just like throw the Xbox controllers and the Roku remotes and all the things in here. So that's very functional. So here's the finished product of the coffee table. I have the candle moved over a little bit so it doesn't catch. I don't think it would go up that high, but that way it definitely won't catch that plant on fire. <laughs> but we've got, I think these are just so cute for decorating. I do kind of wish that as much as I love the brass and I love this gold tray, I do kind of wish that they were like different colors. Like maybe these were black or the, if the tray was black, it wouldn't look right with the table in my opinion. I mean, it would look okay, but you know what I mean? Like. I don't know that it's, it's not too bad at least they're like darker brass and then this is gold so it's not too bad but we've got the marble and we've got the greenery my favorite things so i definitely love how it turned out and also i got this coffee table and the rug there's ginger coming out of hiding <laughs> she comes out to grace us with her presence every now and then <laughs> um anyways so i got the loloi rug from Amazon and I got the coffee table from Amazon and it is a dupe to the one at Restoration Hardware. I don't think y'all have seen any of this unless you follow me on Instagram. Um, it's got brass hammered legs. I don't know if you can see, they're very beautiful. It's like that dark espresso that kind of looks black on camera, but it's like the same exact color as my dining table and the entryway table is the same exact color. So you guys have to let me know what you think about everything. Um, I'm really excited. I feel like I'm finally, I know I say this all the time, but this time I really mean it. I think I'm finally in love with the way that my house is looking. Like I found my style. I love it. I want to get something to go on that wall. Haven't figured it out yet. I'm thinking, I saw a painting at Hobby Lobby that's in their spring shop and it's kind of got some blues and grays because we've got like, it picks up blues and grays in the rug. The reason I went with this rug, I would have went with, um, I would have went with one that was a little bit more brown tones, but you know, we've got like the grayish floors and the gray walls. So I went with something that matched and I definitely love it. I love the colors that tie in. And we forgot that little table I found on Facebook Marketplace. I actually got that for the girl's room, but it looks really cute in here. So I'm debating, should I put it in their room or should I? I haven't showed their room makeover yet. I'm not quite done with it. I'm not quite done with it. I hadn't decorated yet. I hadn't got that on video. So um, once I get that done, I promise I'll get it up. Um, but. We have some project bookshelves. I'm painting them white. They're gonna go on each side and they're really tall. Like they're pro probably gonna go up to like right here and I'll be able to decorate those. So I'm probably gonna like take my time and curate it like I did the hutch. I've definitely been searching. Like I've been curating that for months and months. Um, I love the way it turned out, but I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think. Oh yeah, Um. so oh, sorry. I either wanna do like a collage wall of like Kind of like how I did these pretty frames, but I got like black and white family pictures. Um, I was thinking maybe something like that, like a collage wall like that. Or I found a painting that I love at Hobby Lobby and it's pretty big and it's um, Spring Shop clearance. And then maybe some like um, modern gold sconces on each side. So just to add in with the pops of gold, but you have to let me know what you think of everything. I love the way everything is looking. I cannot wait to decorate, to decorate for fall and Christmas 
in here. Everything is just flowing together so well. The color scheme and everything, I'm just in love and obsessed. And you guys want to let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. And I really hope you enjoyed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Before I end this video, I just noticed this sleepy little kitty. Hi, Stinky. Hi, did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know they want to see you. You're a sweet baby. I know. Look at that sweet girl. Look at that sweet girl. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. I didn't mean to wake you up. They love to sleep on these chairs. That's like their favorite place. They'll all get under here and nab. <laughs>